challenge the lawyers, Jeff Gold, David Benowitz. You know what? Uh, drunk driving, awful. Texting and surfing your iPhone for photos. What, I mean, like, what, a dating site? I guess she was on Facebook, so she's looking at her friends. What about it, Benowitz? We don't know. She has no recollection of what happened, which is, of course, consistent with a horrific accident like that, where I'm sure the airbag deployed. I'm sure well, she was well, knocked uh, unconscious. Uh, no, we, we don't what know what happened. What does that have to do with anything? We already know what she was doing at the time of the crash. All right, we, Jeff Gold, please, don't, 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 don't even start with oh, a lie. Like please, please, please. She had please. no recollection. We, already, we don't need her to remember because we can look at her iPhone because history you're, you're and we know what she was doing. As usual. Because you um, prejudged her. Actually, I'm reading the police report. Are you saying the police are, are lying? What I'm saying is they just started their investigation. They may have Facebook, thing, Facebook posts from around the time she was driving. Can you say that she was looking down? We don't know. Don't prejudge no, her. Actually, I'm not prejudging her. You need to prepare before you come on this program. Because Jeff really? Gold, it's, cut his mic. Because Jeff Gold, it clearly states in the police report, if anyone would read it, that they got a search warrant to look at her cell phone at the time of the crash. She was looking at photos on Facebook. It's very simple. It's forensic. But, Nobody's prejudging her. That's what the facts are. Right, that, that's right, Nancy. But there is one more fact here, which is that the driver who was with the grandmother, for some reason, slowed down to make an illegal turn on a highway to one of those little turnarounds that only the police are supposed to use. So what we don't know is whether they slammed on their brakes to find this little turnaround and then the defendant plowed into the back. That's a Can fact we a don't question? know, and it mitigates whether or not she was negligent. Can I ask you a question? Now, I, now you two handle high-level cases, but think back, way, way back, one of the first things you learn as, is when you rear-end somebody, it really doesn't matter what they're doing. It doesn't matter if they slam on brakes, because if you rear-end them, that means you're going too fast or you're not paying attention. If they make an illegal left turn, that's their problem. That has nothing to do with you striking a fixed object. I think we can all agree on that. Well, it's comparative. Or is that prejudging, It's Benowitz? comparative, Nancy. If don't the other driver was negligent as well, a jury can consider you that. You don't even know what I'm talking about. 